Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313 and welcome to episode 46 of my single player Let's Play with mods. Uh, this is episode 46 and as we have been for the past few episodes, we are going to continue working on our factory that we have right here. Just a quick little, you know, um, summary of what we have going on here. We have this thing producing glass for us. It's a cobblestone generator that just transmutes it to glass with the help of a, a uh, energy, or no, what is this, what is that called? No, no. I think it's like an energy condenser or something. Yeah, an energy condenser from Equivalent Exchange 2. Uh, right here, we have our rubber tree farm from over there hooked up, uh, putting all its stuff into here. We then have it being pumped out and sorted. The logs go in this one, and sticky resins go in this one, just so that we don't have any overflow or any uh, items popping out. That's turned into rubber, which is extracted and put into here. Right here, from all our chickens that we're getting, we have the chicken eggs being pumped out of our chicken farm up here. Da -da -da. With the help of some Red Power 2 transposers. I'm going to put more chickens in there, by the way. And they go through here and into this chest where they get pumped out, put into this energy condenser. I probably could just skip this chest, and I may do that just in case I need a diamond chest. I'll probably just have this one. Um, they are then then put into uh, this energy condenser, putting it into copper. Copper is pumped out, put into this chest along with 64 rubber being supplied with some logistics pipes at all time. We then have it creating copper cabling, which gets stored in this chest. Over here we have a macerator that has some blaze rods, and when you macerate a blaze rod you get five blaze powder. When you condense five pieces of blaze powder in an energy condenser, you end up getting two and a half blaze rods, so we're pretty much just creating blaze rods out of nothing. Um, just a little bit of EU, I guess you'd say. And uh, that's going ahead, and I turn this off because we are getting an overflow of blaze rods and our macerator over there, so I turned it off. Um, I also added this thing, but I'm going to get rid of it because I need to do something else with this contraption today. Um, we also have this being supplied. Hey, look, it's dark outside. We also have that being uh, kept fed power with uh, a medium voltage solar array, producing 32 energy units per tick. Now, before we uh, really get started here, I want to address a few of the comments that were in the last video. I explain them in the comment section, but just in case, because I guarantee you that a whole bunch of people will still comment on everything that I've done. Um, let's see. So let's go ahead through there. I have it up in my other monitor. I'm going to go ahead and just look through it. Alright. So the first thing... <sighs> burped, excuse me. Said, wouldn't it have been easier to use Buildcraft uh, and put obsidian pipes around it? Let me show you why I didn't do that. Okay, we're going to go over here. I'm just going to grab some obsidian pipes, and I have some stone pipes. Alright, cool. Nope, these are advanced insertion pipes. Let's go ahead and make some obsidian pipes with obsidian. Get two of you. A crafting table. Glass. I still have massive amounts of lag. And put that right there. Alright, so now we're going to go out here. I need to eat. Food. Alright, so we're going to go out here and I'm just going to show you real quick. Or hopefully real quick. Let's go ahead and put this chest down. Alright. And let's say... Creation mode. There you go. Alright, so let's say that this was our platform. There we go. Alright, so that's our platform. That's what we have right there. That's where all the chickens are, and that's just one section. If I'm correct, an obsidian pipe will not pick up items that are over there. This would mean that I wouldn't be able to use dirt, and I'd have to make the whole floor obsidian pipes. Now, obsidian may be cheaper, especially since we can create it like nothing out there in the nether, but let me show you what happens when you have a whole bunch of them. 
Okay, I only have that many, so... You're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, but I do want it to be kind of centered. Alrighty. So that's the center. We're gonna go ahead and let's just say that we had the whole floor covered. I'm just missing that one thing right there. So we're actually just gonna, I don't know, replace it with this... Yeah, one of these or something like that. Nah. Alrighty. So what we would then have to do is we would have to make sure, since they don't connect to each other, we would have to make sure that each one had another stone pipe connecting it. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to connect all these with stone pipes. Oops. Alright. And we wanted to send it, what, down here? Alright. Now look at this. This is just a big mess of pipes. When I drop items in here, they're going to get sucked up. And see how they're just going to random places? They're just going wherever they please. How many made it to the chest? Three. Out of however many I, th I threw down. I didn't count. But three of them made it to the chest. This means that we would have to use a whole bunch of iron pipes. Iron pipes, as you know, cost two pieces for eight iron. Or for eight pipes. Right here, I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by nine. This, if I can do multiplication correctly, results in 81. I would need 81 iron pipes. Let's just go ahead and round that to 80. Say that we leave one pipe or one, uh, one pipe out. All right. Let's say we do that. This would mean that we need 80 iron pipes which means that we would need 10 recipes of the iron pipe recipe, which means that we would need 20 pieces of iron. These cost about one piece of iron each because it's only a piston and another piece of redstone. So a piece of iron, some wood, and some redstone, and some cobble, which is free, pretty much. I only have nine of them. A timer is really cheap because that's really just redstone and stone. This I already had laying around, and these I already had laying around. The only expensive part of this is a diamond chest, and I don't need that. So there's why I'm not why I'm not using obsidian pipes for so for the two people that said that obsidian pipes are a lot cheaper and are also a lot easier. There's your answer. All right. So another thing. Someone said my engines are red and that I should be careful or orange. Sorry. These are redstone engines. They will not explode unless they are not connected to anything. So let's say that I just had a redstone engine, and it was right here. Let's say that I was powering it. This would eventually explode because it's not connected to anything. These are connected to wood pipes, so they will not explode, so I don't have to worry about that. See, so was there anything else that I needed to address? Oh, yeah. Another person said... Um, drawing to 3013 advanced machines can take medium voltage power. Well, if you watched episode 42, you would know that they definitely cannot. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. I'm going to grab one of these, put myself in cheat mode, get myself, use it with an extractor, which is an advanced machine. I'm going to dig down here. Alrighty. Dig down here. Alright, so this is medium voltage power going out of here. I'm going to use some of my cabling, and I'm going to dig off in this direction, just so I don't blow anything up, you know? Gonna dig down a bit. Hey, look, marble. Alright, so we're going to take this. This is medium voltage. We're going to bring it down and put down our centrifuge extractor. They cannot accept medium voltage power. So the basic moral of the story is make sure you kinda know what you're talking about before you, you know, post a comment and make me spend time not only answering your comment, but since I get so many of them, I have to do something like this in my videos. So that's really all I ask. 
And I hope that that uh, little segment has answered any of your comments, questions, or concerns you may have. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with, uh, you know, the rest of the factory, because we still have a lot to do. So last episode we set up this thing, okay? We have a rotary macerator. We produced a very, very overpowered machine uh, that will pretty much produce infinite EMC for us. And, uh, yeah, awesome. Very awesome. We have, like, two stacks of stuff in there. So what I need is obviously I don't want to just produce uh, blaze rods. I want to use the blaze powder that's produced to turn it into EMC and use that EMC for something else that's a little more uh, useful in my build. So I need a way to kind of distribute because I don't want them all going to the place where I'm going to use them because then we'll run out of blaze rods. I want to kind of distribute them. And there's a few possibilities. I could use a uh, a distribution or yeah, distribution pipe pipe pipe. Um, or I could use some logistics logistics pipes. It's also a possibility. Hmm. I'm just kind of think. How about give me a few minutes? I will think about it. And then I'll be right back once I have thought about it. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Alright, I am back here, and I have decided what I wish to do. I have a distribution pipe right here. Uh, let's see, we don't want anything going down blue, green, white, or red. Just cyan and yellow. Alrighty. And I want, because we get five, so I think I want three to go back to this energy condenser. So it'll be three down here. And then I want two to go down here. Two. Uh, because I do want to produce more and more blaze rods instead of just having it stay even. Because if I were to just put two in here each time, it would pump one out each time. And we would, we would start to run low on blaze rods, so I want to you know, do three. Alrighty. Sorry, I've been experiencing problems with my server, so I'm just trying to, like, I have it up in the other screen. And I'm, look, like, stalking the chat and seeing if anyone's on. Looks like someone, someone is. Alrighty, so I have an iron ingot right there. And that is what I'm going to be transmuting. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, turn this on. Alright, so we're going to start getting blaze rods out of there. They should be going. I'm debating whether or not I should use golden pipes to kind of speed things up, but I don't really think it matters. I think I may put more than one engine on here. I may put like three. That's as many as I can fit. Yeah. Alright, so once we get this thing going... Let's go ahead and just put another one right here for now and make another, yeah sure, redstone torch. Dig under, oh we could put it right there. Alrighty, and cover up the floor. Yeah, I lost a piece of nether, or the uh, thing. Mm, whatever, I'll leave it there. Alrighty, so now we're really starting. You can see, look, one, two, three, and then one, two. So it's working perfectly, and we are getting iron like there's no tomorrow. So I believe each one looks like it's getting about three, exactly three, actually. So we're going to have a lot of iron. Maybe I should make it to where it goes four in that way, and then one in that way. Yeah, I think that'll do just fine. Because that's a lot of iron. This blaze powder has a very high EMC. Alrighty, cool. So we have a lot of copper cabling. We're doing pretty well with those. Just need to get more chickens. Um, let me go ahead and just get a whole bunch. That's not what I wanted. I wanted my client star. And I want to target that. There we go. Okay, so... That in there. Perfect. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw these eggs at the chickens. And then we're going to start on the next part. So I'll be back. That's a lot of chickens. We even have some eggs ready to be picked up. I saw a whole bunch that just got picked up actually. So it definitely is working and we are getting more and more copper. As you know, all the chickens grow up and stuff and whatnot. Awesome. We're doing great. Alrighty. So, I don't just need iron. I need refined iron. Alrighty. So I need refined iron, so I'm going to need an induction furnace. And again, once again, I'm debating whether or not I should just make a new one. Or if I should steal the one that I already have. Kinda don't feel like going through the process of crafting a new one. But, I want to leave these as they are. So I think I'm going to do that, because that this room looks nice. And I'm already missing the extractor, which is probably screwing with anything that goes here, so let me just steal those. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a new induction furnace. It's a pretty simple recipe. I'll go ahead and show you when I'm done. And uh, then we'll go. We'll be back to uh, lay it down. I may need to make more of these too. So I'll be back. Alright, so we're almost finished here. I have my electric furnace, advanced machine block with some copper, getting me an induction furnace. Notice how I got more copper, because I'm just going to, you know, throw them in here. Just to kind of get a head start, you know. Just to get this thing, you know, up and running pretty fast. To keep up with the uh, crazy, crazy, crazy amount of iron that I have in here. Um, so, yeah. Whoa. Let's turn this off for a little bit. I think we're good for now. Um, yeah, it's overflowing. Um, <laughs> definitely an OP machine, but I could use like another, another redstone engine right there. Maybe I'll get one eventually. Um, but that still wouldn't be enough because each one pulls out or, you know, produces five. That would only be pulling out three at a time, so it's still overloaded eventually. I don't know. Who knows? So, what do we want to do? Right, I have my induction furnace. I'm going to lay it down. Right here. Looks like a grand place for an induction furnace. And from here, this is low voltage, I believe. Yes. Now, you know, I am honestly not sure if the induction furnace can handle medium voltage. I believe it can, um, because it's just vanilla um, industrial craft. So let's go ahead and try it. Um, even though it's going to be a little difficult to. We shall manage, though. This better work. <laughs> Spending all this time trying to figure out how to wire it. Alrighty, so right there. No explosion, so far so good. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, so the induction furnace, the reason why it can accept medium voltage current is because it's just part of vanilla industrial craft. The... Oh, what's it called? The other advanced machines from the advanced machine mods, they used to be able to uh, accept medium voltage current, but they changed it for some reason. I honestly have no idea why. Um... But, like, what they did instead is they have this little slot right here for upgrades so you can, you know, make what's called a transformer upgrade. Um, but I don't feel like doing that, so I didn't. Uh, I think, again, we're going to put it on the back. Let's go ahead and just put it right here. So we're not going to be connecting anything there. This uh, lever will affect this, actually. Um, but I don't want to leave this on all the time. At least not when this machine isn't running. It's so many things. Jeez. <laughs> I might have to get just an extractor mark one module and um, hook it up to here and say this one is requesting blaze rods. So that way it'll just extract one every five seconds. And I think that'll just be perfect uh, and give these things enough time to get it out of there before it overflows. So maybe I'll try that, but of course I'll do it off camera. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> oh, okay. All better. I'm not dying. It's okay.
So, what I need now is I need more redstone engines. So many. So many of them. Do I have any? Yeah, I have two. Alright, that might work. Let's go ahead. We're going to put it down over here. Bam. We are going to put another one right there because we're, you know, going to. Eh. No, because I'm going to need one. Over here, okay. So we are going to have one right here that is going to be pulling. I lied. I completely lied. No, no. We are going to have one right here because it just makes more sense for it to be up on top. We're going to have one right here that is going to pull items out of here. It's going to pull the iron. And it's going to lead into... There. It's going to lead into our friend the induction furnace. Alright, remember how you have to put it up on the sides? And then it's going to go into this chest right here. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do that. I may actually want to move this chest. Because I have stuff from there that I want to put in this chest as well. By the way, I have a good bit of UU matter. I have it all in here. 19 pieces, it's not bad. GU. Oh wow. Let's leave that thing running for a while. Still have plenty of scrap, that is for sure. Uh, so I'm going to let that run for a little bit. Don't let me forget about it. Remind me. <laughs> I'm probably going to forget. Alright, so now that we have that, everything should be cooked. And I can't just hook up a regular stone pipe there. No, I cannot. Instead, I'm going to have to... Another one of these eventually. And then wooden pipe. Wooden pipe right there. And I can leave it there. And that right there, so that when we put this nether brick in that location, it powers that because this block is powered. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Thank you, five frames per second. I love you too. Alrighty, we got that. So now what should happen once we power these? Oh, I need another lever, don't I? There we go. <laughs> Creative problem solving, guys. Oh, man. Alrighty, so we got another lever. And we're going to put it right there. And power that there redstone engine. Awesome. So now we are pumping out iron ingots. Putting it into our induction furnace. It's then going to be cooked into refined iron, pulled out by that engine, and put into this chest. Now we are going to need one more thing in this chest. And that is going to come from the UU matter, actually. Okay, we still have plenty. Yeah, awesome. Alright, so we're going to pl plop down another automatic crafting table. Hmm. We're going to plop down another two eventually. Alright, you know what? We're going to have two different chests. Okay. I can tell you that. We're going to let all that spill out on the floor. Awesome. And in here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to target a chest. You can tell that I don't really have these things planned out, can't you? I think it's more fun when you don't plan anyway. Alright, so we're going to have one right there, one right there, and for now, I'm just going to let it randomly choose where it goes. I can't put it in there, so I'm just going to split it up. 14 of you go in there. 14 of you go in there. I am going to use another distribution pipe right here, but I have to do some math first. Alright, so we have two chests because we have two different things that we want to produce with this UU matter. UU matter is pretty fun. Let's go ahead and look at the uses for it. With any eye. It can be used in a carpenter, by the way. Alright, so right here we have shaped IC2 crafting. The reason why I can see this is because there's actually a config setting in the Industrial Craft 2 config file that uh, says show hidden UU matter recipes or something like that in any eye. Uh, so just go ahead and set that to true and then you can see all these. So UU matter is used for more than just making the iridium ore. 
snowballs. It's used for more than just making the iridium ore, as seen right here for, you know, quantum suits. It can be used to make almost any other material in the game. Uh, it's definitely used for a lot of the raw materials. Uh, so specifically what I need out of this, two different things. I need coal, which is three, and I need redstone, which is four. Alright, so, hmm, what's the best way? I think I'm just going to make a dis distribution pipe that puts three in one chest and then four in the other chest. I think that looks, that sounds about, about right. Let's go ahead and put one right there and one right there. And I'll get the distribution pipe later, don't worry. Right now it's just going to do it at random. And we are going to need seven pieces, if I recall correctly. This is, you know, I don't want this to be like that. It's going to be right here. That's going to be redstone. And this right here is going to be coal. Awesome. So now I just need two more redstone engines. They're going to be pumping these out, and then I'm going to get the distribution pipe as well. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use this redstone, and I'm going to bring it all the way over here. I'm going to pump it out and bring it into this chest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it up the ceiling right here. I'm just kind of route, route it around and eventually end up over here. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I should be right back. Alright, so after a while um, I kind of got distracted by other things. I uh, you know, was looking online, responding to comments. I don't know, I, got, I get so distracted sometimes, but I also realized that my hard drive should actually be delivered today. So I was looking for that, and it's not here yet, but hopefully it's soon. The interweb is saying it should be here today anyways. Um, I also turned, well, I didn't turn it off, but I took all the other iron out of here, because we have a lot in here. <laughs> so yeah. So you can see that I have this thing with the automatic crafting table crafting some redstone for me. We have no UU matter in there anyways. And it's getting pumped out through a gold gold pipe. There's really no way no pretty way to power a gold pipe. So I just used kind of a dirt block. I may change it to like some nether brick like that one over there. And maybe put it on top of this table or something. I don't know. Uh it's going all the way up here. I put another gold pipe just to make sure it was as fast as it could go. And then it eventually goes into this chest. So now I have redstone, copper cabling and refined iron in one chest. What could we be doing with this? Hmm. I know. Let's go ahead and get some. Alright, so I'm going to use 12 of these. Four of you. And a bunch of you. Alright, so I'm going to do this recipe two times because I actually need one of them right now. And if you recognize it, it is an electronic circuit. So we are using these three components, the redstone, the copper cabling, and the refined iron, to create electronic circuits. Awesome. Uh, now with this electronic circuit, I'm going to go ahead and craft up two machine blocks. Machine block, I'm going to turn one of them into an advanced machine block. And I'm going to turn the other one into yet another macerator. Nope, that's not it. Nope, nope. Cobble. Alright, and then this macerator is going to become an advanced, a rotary macerator. Awesome. We're going to place this thing... Hmm. I'm just trying to think of where I need everything laid out. I'm going to place this thing right here. I think that's a good spot. And now we just need to run some cabling. Let me go ahead and do that. Alright, so while hooking this up, I realized that this was still medium voltage current, so... <laughs> be careful. Yes, it blew up. Yes, I cheated myself in another one. No, I do not care. <laughs> I mean, that is kind of ridiculous. Uh, how they don't accept medium voltage current, because... It, and it's an advanced machine. <laughs> you use some expensive materials to produce it, so it should be awesome, correct? I don't know. 
Uh, anyways, we're going to throw another lever on here. Bam. Awesome. And, yeah, blew up this thing too. It's going to be pumped out. The coal, that is. It's going to be pumped out of here and into this macerator to produce some coal dust for us. There we go. Awesome. Cool. So now out of here, we're going to need another pump. Mm hmm. Guess I should just find a way to power this. Interesting. Do I have any place that powers it? Oh yes, it does. Oh, that's so ghetto. <laughs> it's gonna be pumped out of there and into. Oh no, a chest. I don't have a chest. 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 Mm, steal you. Destroy you. And uh, destroy you. Careful. Don't need that. Actually, yeah, I do. I don't need this one, though. Destroy you. Take you. Bring that over there. Put down the energy condenser right here. Target. Ah, oh, of course. Target this thing and make this little setup again. There we go. Perfect. Nothing ever happened. Except for that big pile of uh, coal dust that's probably on the ground right now. Place down. I said place down. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and just throw this in here. Awesome. So now we have coal being produced for us. Yeah, I know there's an overflow that's usually that's probably not really gonna happen often, uh, to tell you the truth, um, and it's just not gonna happen often because you you matter. We're not gonna be producing a lot of it, and even if we do, it still has to produce four more before it can produce another set of coals. So it's really nothing to worry about. Alrighty, so awesome. We have lots and lots of stuff, lots and lots. Um, I'm pretty sure that the episode is getting close to 30 minutes. It may be over at this point. Uh, so I'm just going to call it good here. Uh, so now we have more coal dust being uh, produced for us. We need to find a way to use that coal dust. And then we still need... We still need a few things. Yeah. Um, yeah, still need a few things. And I may have to rearrange some stuff. But we'll do that next episode. So, nothing that we need to worry about. I'll have to think about that off camera. Anyways, it's been Drawing at 1313 with episode 46 of my Let's Play series. I hope you're enjoying this huge build. I'm really involving a lot of mods. and I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, we still have a few more materials that we need to produce automatically. And I think I'm going to use some other mods for that. Um, we haven't used forestry yet, and we haven't really used the laser mod. I also try want to I also want to try and incorporate the uh, transport thingies mod as well. You know that's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm sure I can figure something out. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like or comment or favorite it or you know whatever you want to do that you know could help me out. So I want to thank you for watching. And it's raining. Amazing, beautiful, wonderful way to end the episode. Hey, look. Yeah, this is getting pretty far. Um, I haven't checked on this in a while. Wow. So, again, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode. See ya!